Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving the problem from a topic called work power and energy. Let us see what is the problem is. The problem is like this. The power of an electric engine that can pull a mass of 500 metric ton up on an inclined plane rising 1 in 100 with a velocity of 100 meter per second is how much? So let us try visualizing what he has given in the problem. There is an inclined plane. On this inclined plane, there is a body whose mass is equal to m. So it is obvious that its weight always acts in a vertically downward direction. If the angle of inclination is theta, it is obvious that this also becomes theta. I can resolve now this mg being a vector into components. This is an adjacent component mg cos theta. This is the opposite component mg sin theta. Now you have to move the body up along the inclined plane with a constant velocity therefore on a frictionless surface of course we are assuming that there is no friction so the force required we need to apply a minimum force of mg sin theta in the upward direction of the inclined plane to move the body up. Now I have to calculate what is the power required. Mm -hmm. I know the formula. Power is defined as rate of change of work done dW by dt. Work done is nothing but F dot S by time. F displacement by time is nothing but velocity. So power can also be expressed as back product of f dot t. So what's the value of the f acting here is nothing but equal to mg sin theta and then velocity v. That's the equation for the power. That's what we are supposed to calculate. To get the value of that sin theta, he has given that angle of inclination is 1 in 100. That means opposite side is 1. The hypothesis is 100. That's height versus length of the inclined plane value. So the power is m value is 500 which ton is a 1000 kilogram 500 metric ton. Assume v value is also 10 to make the calculation simple. Sin theta is 1 by 100 and velocity of that body is given in the problem as 10 meter per second. So this 10 and 10 is 100 this 100 can be cancelled. So the power is simply 500 into 10 power 3 watt or 500 kilowatt. That's how we have to solve this problem. That's it. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.